I'm going to show you how to use the Wilson hardness tester that Harvey Mudd College has to check the hardness of uh, materials, specifically the hard face for the E4 hammerhead. So this tester reads in the Rockwell scale, and it is set up to read in the Rockwell C scale, which is useful for measuring uh, steels primarily. So uh, steels fill the Rockwell C scale across their entire span. For soft steels, they're at the bottom of the scale, and hard steels at the top of the scale. So the way that this tester works is that a test sample, this example is the hard face for the hammer, is placed in the tester, and the sample is pushed up into the point of this diamond-tipped indenter, and the machine applies a load to the the indenter and pushes into the material, and then when the load is removed, it measures how much the material springs back, which is what determines the hardness. So the hardness is read off the scale here. In order to move the test sample up and down against the indenter, you rotate this handle at the bottom with the three handles sticking off of it. So the procedure to set up the machine is to turn the machine on with the switch on the right side. The red light should come on. You'll load the sample into the machine and you need to rotate the sample around to find a clean area to do the test. This test, this sample um, has had a bunch of tests run on it already. That's what the little dots are from. So you position the sample so that you're in a clean area of the part. You turn the handle on the bottom to bring the test sample up until it touches the indenter. So just to the point where it touches, and then you continue to rotate the handle and you watch the two needles on the scale. And what you need to do is you need to bring the sample up into the indenter using the handles until the little needle is pointing straight up and until the big needle is pointing about straight up. You don't have to get it exactly at the zero. Under the handle that you use to raise and lower the sample is this uh, ribbed collar. So if I rotate that back and forth, that rotates the scale. And that's how you zero your measurement. So I'll rotate that collar until the needle lines up with zero. We're going to read the hardness on the outside of the scale where it's marked C. Since we're using the Rockwell C scale, we're going to read the numbers on the outside. Once the sample is placed up against the indenter, the little needle is pointing straight up, and we've zeroed the scale. Then you press down once on this little paddle, and the machine performs the test. It applies additional load to the part, and then when the needle springs back, this is the number that we read to get the hardness measurement. So this part right now is reading a hardness of Rockwell 50C. So when the needle comes around, and stops. That's the hardness that you would record. It's good practice to um, test more than once um, to make sure that you don't, just make sure you have uniform hardness around the part. Once the test is done, then you remove the part by unscrewing this collar. Um, I'm going to run this one more time and make sure I get a, a similar number. So I'm going to rotate the part to a clean area, twist the handle on the bottom to bring it up into contact with the indenter continue rotating until the little needle is pointing straight up and the big needle is about vertical. I'm going to twist this collar on the bottom to zero the scale and then push down on the paddle and the test runs. It applies load, holds it for a second, removes it, and then springs back and I get a reading of 50 again. So I got a reading of 50 both times so I can be pretty confident that that's the hardness of this piece of material.